had a wild and crazy morning. It was really weird to be going to the hospital with your newborn baby. That was really odd. So we had a home birth, pretty exciting. We're gonna go to the doctor now and uh, get uh, the baby all uh, checked up, make sure she's good. All right. Time to see how long it would have taken us to get there. If Even if we had left right when you woke me up, would have been having my baby in the middle of I-5 or something. We realized we also needed to get gas. We would have had baby on the freeway. Yeah, which probably would have been That's terrifying. Really, really bad. Yeah, because I have much less supplies in the car than I do here in the house. So. It's cold and you would be driving and I would be by my, no, just bad. The funniest part is that the whole time we're walking through the hospital, Corbin is carrying, or no, not even Corbin was, I was. Well, he brought it from the parking lot. So we, uh, Forgot the placenta again. Don't usually forget that from a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah, anyway. so Corbin's pushing around mom in the hospital and I'm carrying this placenta. Yeah, they told us we had to bring the placenta in, so it's in our popcorn bowl, you guys. Our family popcorn bowl. <laughs> and Corbin has to carry it in from the parking lot and then dad takes it and they're walking around with this huge metal bowl with the placenta. <laughs> so we call the doctor and he says, if I use the right accent, it is great, you come in, we look you over, the good, we'll be good. Yes, <laughs> my OB is awesome. <laughs> So we, we come in and we go to labor and delivery and they just like look at us like through the window, you know, it's all secure and they're like, hi, <laughs> what, what are you, what are you doing here? Right. And so we're telling the, them, our doctor said to come in here. They're like, uh, yeah, the babies <laughs> go out from here. They don't come <laughs> they don't in. Come in. Right. Uh, so we had to kind of explain what's going on and they're like, oh, okay, come in, come in. Thankfully, praise God, it, you were good. You were yeah, great. Yeah, I, I was totally fine, so it wasn't bad. The doctor, the OB kind of joked, you're like, you good OB. You are great OB. You make, you make uh, good obstetrics. Yeah, he, after we, you know, got in there and he checked me out and did the whole whatever and told him, you know, step by step everything that happened. He's like, you're, you're a certified OB now, Joe. You can, you can catch babies. <laughs> uh, so for any of you dads out there, you want some pointers on like proper catching techniques. I'll tell you, support the head and the neck. Those are the big... Those are the big keys and then just want to ease on down, like ease on down to the ground. You know, that's free advice, uh, but uh, if you want any further instruction, then, uh, you know, just just sign up for our program. $54,000 a session, and I just need I just need one student. And then they took... They take the placenta, they took the placenta. And, then, and then they kept it, so we didn't have to carry that anymore. Yeah, that was just weird. I'm, I'm glad because I didn't want to have to have lunch with the placenta sitting <laughs> next to me. The doctor said, go have baby checked out. I call you good. You go over there. You yeah. go. You go and baby look at. He tells us to go back over and have the baby looked at. Back over to where we just were Labor on delivery. the other side of the hospital. Right. And so, if problem, they call me, I fix. 
Yeah, he, he basically let us know that they probably weren't going to like that and they should just call him and he'd fix it. Well, <laughs> so, so, of course, we get there and we're like, hi again. And they're like, what are you doing here? And Jessica is like trying to talk to them and they're, you know, they're just like. We're here to get the baby checked out and doctor send us back over and they're like um that's not how it works okay so help me understand this dr okay. kindred sent you back over here yeah. to have the baby looked at by on call yes is that right because we yeah. accidentally had baby at home right i so hear that so it doesn't it doesn't work that way we know i understand i lived it you call <laughs> you call doctor and fine everything fine no, well, the head nurse is in the middle of a delivery right now, and she needs to handle this, so you guys just go wait in the waiting room. Yeah. I. Are you kidding? <laughs> I just, I, I wanted Tilly to get looked at. Mom got looked at. She's great, and I want to get Tilly looked at. The thing that made me nervous, really, was, you know, they said, we, you know, you, you can go get seen at the ER. Yeah, they said, this isn't how we do it here so you guys can go ahead over to the ER and see the pediatrician who works here in the ER and I was like I don't want to go to the ER there's terrible germs there and they said yeah we know and I said well why can't the pediatrician just come here then I don't know that I would want to take a new baby down to the no, ER and I definitely have them, don't want to you know the ER because it's Absolutely. Even just coming back from over there, I could just hear tons of people coughing, and I'm like, no. So I know. I would really rather yeah, do that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah she's looks wonderful. Great. And then that's when they said, well, we can go ahead and admit you, and then you can see that same pediatrician here in this, you know, clean labor and delivery room. Just let me know either okay. way. We, I mean, we can certainly do whatever, and I, you know. Okay. Okay. So it worked out much better that way. They were able to admit Tilly and take her in and she got her exam and she got weighed again. She got measured again, but I already done all that stuff. I mean, I know the stats, I got it. Uh, and then mom was able to relax. I'm gonna show you the real reason we are at the hospital right now. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> you see that ice? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. but then it was kind of like a normal hospital stay. grateful for uh, for everyone's support uh, really means a lot a lot to us uh, so grateful uh, for what the Lord has done he just he's really taking care of us uh, above and beyond what I could imagine it's definitely a labor of the lifetime it will be just treasured and I'm very thankful for God's mercy on us and we're so thankful for Matilda mercy and just everything Every detail was in his hands. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, our channel and, uh, and our vlogging. We, uh, we do a lot of other stuff too. We have an ebook, we do a podcast. Um, and so we're just kind of, we're just trying to get out there and help share with you about how incredible family life can be. And e even I'm amazed at how incredible family life could be. This is not exactly how what I was expecting uh, when we kind of started this journey. So, you guys are kind of going through this with us. I, you know, I don't know everything the Lord has in store, but I know that He's going to be there with us every step of the way. So, praise God for that.